and the list continues. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yash and today we are going to talk about best applications for your MacBook in 2022. Are you looking for best applications for your MacBook in 2022? Don't worry, I have just the suggestions that you're looking for. Keep watching this video till the end. My name is Yash and you're watching iGeeks Blog. Before talking about the first application, I would request you and highly suggest you to subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that you stay updated with everything Apple content. Now that you have done that and I'm expecting you have done that, let's move ahead and talk about the first app of this list. Cheat Sheet is a very basic application in my opinion, but it allows you to use any application on your MacBook in a very productive manner. You see, after installing the application, all you have to do is just hold the command key for about 3 seconds and a cheat sheet of that application will be displayed to you. Now, the cheat sheet will contain all the active shortcuts that you can use for the application that is running. It's as simple as that. You do not have to look for shortcuts for any application. All you have to do is just use cheat sheet and you're good to go. Next application on this list is super useful for social media influencers, new age content creators and YouTubers. I mean, I use it on a daily basis, literally. Yes, you guessed it right, Final Cut Pro. Let it be video organization, let it be video editing, let it be motion graphics, let it be audio editing, let it be object tracking, let it be cinematic mode editing, let it be audio correction, let it be color correction. You can do everything on this software. If you're thinking about getting into YouTube, uh, video editing, social media content creation, the very first software that I believe you should get yourself is iMovie. But if you're thinking about elevating your content, then I believe Final Cut Pro is the best option that you have. But if you're not willing to pay 28,000 rupees on a software, then I have a perfect, perfect, perfect suggestion for you. DaVinci Resolve. Believe me, this is an innovative tool for editing that includes a lot of new things. You have a dedicated cut page, then editing page, motion graphics, color correction, audio post processing, and then an export page. But if you're opening DaVinci Resolve for the very first time, or you're looking at the interface for the very first time, then I'm pretty sure that you're going to be a little confused with the interface and stuff, because in my opinion, it does look kind of complicated. But if you're familiar with the concept of video editing, then I'm pretty sure that one or two tutorial is all that it will take for you to get started with this new piece of software. It is available for free and it offers all the tools that you can imagine to get your journey of content creation started. But you know what, whenever you'll be editing videos, there will be large amount of files that your PC will have to you know, run in the background in order to process the functioning that you're doing on your editing software. Which is why getting yourself a cleaning software for your MacBook is really, really important. And my suggestion for that software is Clean My Mac. Trust me when I say it, it is the most user-friendly Mac cleaner that I have ever used. You can delete system junk, unwanted apps and malware and fine-tune your MacBook in order to achieve the maximum speed that it can offer. You can not only clean up junk using this software, you can also provide additional protection to your MacBook using this software, optimize your MacBook for gaining maximum speed, update your currently installed applications or remove them completely from your MacBook. You can also shred the confidential documents that are no longer to use. You can also shred the documents that are no longer necessary, but you're still not in mood to take any risk. Next up in this list is Notion. And trust me when I say this, Notion is one of the most used applications for me on my Mac. Notion is a platform that basically allows you to write, plan, collaborate, organize your tasks, notes, projects, and more, and basically puts you in sync with your team. You do not have to pay in order to use Notion as an individual. In fact, you also get unlimited page and blocks. You can share your pages with five guests and have an option to sync across devices. If you're getting serious about Notion, then there are multiple templates and layouts that you can find here and there on internet and basically use them to organize your work in a better way. Next up is Alfred. And uh, if I have to describe Alfred, then have you seen Batman? Of course you have seen Batman. Alfred is basically that intelligent tool for your MacBook. This application, Alfred, basically it enhances spotlight search for your Mac. First of all, it's very fast. I mean, just have a look at how fast it is when compared to spotlight search. It can help you to launch applications and find files on your MacBook or also on web, control music for your MacBook, search your MacBook's history, and basically saves countless hours by using keywords. 
and the best thing about alfred is that it is available for free there is also availability of alfred power pack that you can buy to control your macbook with more incredible features and enjoy workflow and theme next application that we are going to talk about in this list is clipboard and i believe that you might be able to relate with the pain that occurs when you have to juggle among two applications again and again just because you have to copy something then you have to paste it in another place then once again you have to jump back to copy another thing then you'll have to jump oh sounds so messy so what this tool basically does is first of all it runs in the background so that you do not have to you know look at it again and again and what it will basically offer you is a clipboard so that whenever you will copy a text or alternatively you will select a text and press command c and what this tool basically does is whenever you will copy any particular text and after that you copy another text followed by another text what this application will do is it will offer you a virtual data storage that will paste all the text that you just copied you can view what's on your clipboard and can also copy the text that you copied a while ago trust me whenever you'll start using this application it will be one of the most favorite applications on your mac so yeah that is it for this list and that is it for this video do let me know what do you think about these suggestions hit like if you are planning to install any app that was mentioned in this list If you like this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you stay updated with everything apple my name is yash and i'll see you in the next one